Hello people, welcome back to Godspeed. Today we have for you the Mercedes AMG GLA 35 4MATIC. So the range starts at 63.5 lakhs and only a single variant is available. Today we will be giving you a short walk around description of the vehicle wherein I will cover most of the points you will have to know about the car. Starting with the engine, the GLA 35 AMG is equipped with a 2 litre turbocharged petrol engine 4 cylinder developing 306 horsepower and 400 nm of peak torque 0 to 100 comes in in 5.1 seconds top speed is limited to 250 km per hour the drive train is all wheel drive and the ARI claimed mileage is 13.4 kmpl so yeah this is quite powerful being an AMG and given the price bracket this is surely the power you will be expecting Apart from this, coming back to the design of the vehicle, this is based on the normal G GLA and you can see the uh, bonnet and the strong bonnet lines. Below where you get the AMG specific radiator grille along with your headlights and the bumper trims. The headlights are LEDs. These are multi-beam LED headlights with the audio rails and you can see the attention to detail, the badging of Mercedes LED over there. Below over there you can see the grille with the bold AMG logo and over here also you get the Mercedes Benz logo. On the grille lies the AMG logo to know, let people know this is an AMG and then again you have the front parking sensors, the front bumper trims covered in chrome and the bright headlights and these are AMG specific grilles. Uh, the uh, vertical the vertical slats and overall the front profile does look a lot more uh, appealing than the regular GLA and even over here get the badging of Mercedes Benz on the headlamps that is the attention to detail here are the parking sensors and over here is the badging of turbo formatic that's for the engine Coming to the tyres, so these are light alloy AMG wheels, the size is 235 by 50 R19 and you can see the AMG badging on the alloys, these are twin spoke alloy wheels, disc brakes at the front and back as well, Pirelli tyres and these uh, stood the vehicle well, the side mirrors also get turn indicators with the puddle lamps which is for the welcome function. The mirror is of decent size and over here you can see the overall side profile of the vehicle. The dimensions are on your screen right now. So dimensionally it remains unchanged as compared to the GLA and this the normal GLA competes with cars like X1 and Q3. You get pass the keyless entry on the dri core driver side as well. Even on the rear doors, all four, desk, four doors get keyless entry. Same size rear tires as well. Uh, all four tires over here are of the same size, unlike some other AMG cars. Back over there, you can see the rear spoiler and the overall rear profile of the vehicle. You get adaptive all LED tail lights in the GLA 35 AMG. You also get roof rails, which are functional, and these are the spoilers along with the rear defoggers on the rear glass, badging of AMG and the tail lights. These are all LED units, the badging of GLA 35 and again once again the side profile combined with the rear look, the bold Mercedes logo and you get electric tailgate. The boot space is 435 liters but uh, this space is mostly occupied by the space saver tire which is for the spare wheel. You get lamps on the boot and boot space is decent but the tire occupies uh, some of the space. You can simply close it by pressing the button over there and you also get an emergency light over there. Boot closes quite, quite easily. You get twin exhausts and both of them are functional. These are the rear sensors, rear parking camera and the bumper trims with uh, skid plates. And you can see both the exhausts over here are functional. 
and the rear diffuser. You also get slats in the rear bumper to give it a sporty appeal. Of course, no no air flows over from, flows from there. That's just for show. Now it's time that we get inside the car. But before I'll show you the wiper. And even the wipers, there's the Mercedes logo. So that's the attention to detail for you. <coughs> now getting inside the GL35 is quite easy. The opening aperture of the door is quite good. Leather finishing on the doors and speaker place with speaker and tweet replacement. Satin silver door trims and there's the speaker <coughs> and this is the maximum legroom on offer that is the minimum on offer so first let, let's hit on the left hand side where the co-driver seat is pushed all the way ahead and I'll give you an experience of the space available when the co-driver seat is pushed all the way ahead so you can see seat space availability is quite good you also get a magazine holder with net finishing rear AC vents with chrome surrounds and a space to keep a mobile phone and a type c unit charger the bottom the transmission tunnel is quite flat not very large three headrests are adjustable the this is the center armrest and uh, the seat is foldable the se second row seats are foldable in 40 20 40 ratio <coughs> And uh, over here is the panoramic sunroof. Mm. Now getting to the other side. Before getting to the other side, let me show you once again the space available. Headroom is also quite good. No issues over there. But the front passenger will have no space if the seat is all the way ahead. Getting to the other side when the front seats are pushed all the way behind. Uh, over here, sitting over here is quite an issue. The legroom is absolutely zero and my knees are touching to the seats. So this will be quite an issue. But uh, considering an average position of the seats, the face will not be a major issue. Sitting three at the back uh, will be difficult. It's best for two adults or two adults and a small child. Over here is the tweeters and below the speakers. And you get lights on the grab rails and also a coat holder get this on both the sides window panels are quite windows are quite big so you four you won't feel claustrophobic this is the dashboard view from behind let's get over there and find out what's more so this is the key of the vehicle you get three buttons so lock unlock and open the boot of the vehicle this is finished in black let's open the front door again you can see a red stitching and leather finishing on the door Door pockets are quite big, emergency lights over here and you get memory function on the seats to adjust them and electric seats as well. Over there is the button to open the boot, these are your window controls. You also get uh, these AMG door sk skid plates and lumbar support for your seats and you can also adjust the thigh support manually. Now let's sit inside the car and oh yeah the controls for your electric parking brake and the headlights and the headlight leveler all the controls are over here accelerator and brake pedals covered in metal and you can adjust the steering wheel through there for both reach and rake both the adjustments are available the steering wheel is finished in napa leather and red stretching and over there you can see the inner start stop button and the AC vent control for your ACs and the gear lever behind the AC, behind the steering wheel. The finishing is quite good of the steering wheel. Let's close the door. And overall you can see the red stitching and the leather use on the door is of top notch quality. You won't complain a bit over here. You will definitely feel you are, you are inside an AMG. And all these door trims and the stitching, these, these itself say that this is a fast car and uh, the rollers for the uh, audio changing and uh, different modules of the infotainment this is the welcome light inside the car saying amg and the front grille of the vehicle overall you will like being inside the car there's the gear indicator for changing gears and uh, you get pedal shifters also and uh, you can again operate the infotainment system through the touchpad given below this is available in mostly all the mercedes cars 
and the AC vents and below over them you can see the AC controls. Now there is uh, the space to close or open. There is a small storage space which can hold small bottles, mobile phones and some coins from your house. And you can keep, keep phones on, on the top. The touchpad is very sleek to use. I really enjoy the interface and the feed, touch feedback they offer. And the system is non-laggy and crisp and you will enjoy using it a lot. And on the sides are also all your buttons which are given for your usage for your home button and to play the music and all. Now there are different drive modes available which won't show right now. But the, the AMG Dynamic Select Drive modes are individual comfort, sport and sport plus. The center armrest has decent space inside, good amount of space. And uh, even the couple, even the dash holder over there has decent space. Saturn silver inserts on the dashboard, soft touch material, leather inserts. Overall the interior is really really very premium. You get mirrors on the sun visors on both the sides, driver and the co-driver. And uh, mirror lights in the center and controls for your sunroof are given over here. Along with the SOS button and to open the boot. And also for these lights, all the uh, controls are given over here. And this is the large panoramic sunroof. Auto dimming IRVM. And the different controls for your infotainment system. So if we speak about the infotainment. Yes, this is the same unit which is used in most Mercedes cars, but you won't complain as this is very sleek to use. The interior also gets different modes as you can see me toggling through them. And uh, along with this, you get 64 ambient lighting colors available inside. Burmester sound surround system and the touchpad again to control the infotainment system. You get an all digital instrument panel and you also get tire pressure monitoring system. Apart from this, you get a reverse camera, you get active parking assist which helps in parking the vehicle, you get active brake assist, you get an active bonnet system which lifts the rear edge of the bonnet in case of an accident and it is done mostly to prevent uh, if, there's a, if there's a human involved. And uh, apart from this, on safety front you get 7 airbags, ABS, EBD, brake assist, ESP, traction control and an 8 year warranty on engine and transmission so you are very well uh, at a peace of mind over here you won't have to worry a bit apart from this the performance part this is really really great Mercedes claims this goes from 0 to 100 in 5.1 seconds so no complaints on that aspect as well and you have the ride control suspension the transmission over in question over here is an AMG speed shift DCT 8 gear 8 gears even that is good and overall the car is really worth the money I would say and this was a short and uh, short description short walk around of the vehicle I hope you people liked it if you did do give it the thumbs up and uh, we'll give we'll come up with more content like this subscribe for more and do follow us on Instagram I'll see you guys soon in the next video thank you